Hello, my friends. How are you doing? Today, I want to come clean about a very controversial topic. To be honest, the design community, the photo community, we have lied to you. We have made up a fake news concept, a conspiracy, because here it is. DPI is a lie. Let me explain. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer, and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Also, before we get started, please join my live stream tomorrow on the 4th of July 2021, 8 p.m. CEST. We're going to talk about LUTs and how to apply them, how to get the best results. You can ask me a ton of questions about those. Also, I will review your pictures. We are going to have an amazing time tomorrow, so don't miss that. So now let's come back to the topic of this global conspiracy, this fake news, this kind of pixel mafia thing that has been going on for decades. DPI. What is it good for? What does it even mean? And you will be as surprised as this monkey if you see what I'm going to do, because this is magic. Let me go here to document, resize document. And you can see here, this is the pixel resolution of our little monkey friend here. And this is the DPI that we are using. And I will turn off resample because this would recalculate the picture, but we want to keep the pixel size. And I will change this monkey to one DPI and he will be horribly disfigured. Look at this. I, I set to one TPI. Super small resolution should be terrible. <gasps> Nothing happened. Why? What, what, what's, what's going on here? This is magic. This is wrong. You have been told that DPI is so important. Let's set it to one million DPI because I feel rich today. <gasps> oh. Again, nothing. Well, what's going on? Why is nothing changing? DPI is so important, right? For printing, for anything, right? Screen resolution, everything. Why? What is happening here? Well, here's the thing. I want to give you a super simple example how DPI doesn't matter, how DPI is a lie. Let's imagine a 1080p resolution screen, right? So that is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. We're going with a 1080p screen that has 30 inch, right? Small TV. Okay, let's go with another screen that has 50 inch, also 1080p. Well, as you can see, they have different sizes, but they have the same resolution. So that means DPI means absolutely nothing to that because the video or the photo that has 1080p that you display will be bigger on the bigger screen and smaller on the smaller screen right? So the only thing the DPI is doing is giving you an estimate on how big the picture would be if you use that kind of DPI. And this might be important for several purposes. For example, if you want, for example, to print the picture, let's go here with 300 DPI. And then I go over here to my inches, you can see that this would be the inch size that you would get if you print it exactly with that kind of DPI, right? So if I switch this over to 72, what you can see here is that the inch size is getting bigger because we still have the same pixel resolution, but now the individual pixels are bigger and this means the DPI, the dots per inch, are farther apart, stretch out over a longer way. This is also why you need less resolution when you show a picture on a screen rather than in print. Of course, another reason is because usually you are further away from a screen than from something that is printed because you hold that right in front of your face to read the text, right? So this is what DPI does. It gives you an estimate of what is going on. And this is also very important for you to understand because if someone sends you a image that has the right resolution, but not the right DPI, you can still print it. It's no problem because the DPI doesn't matter. It doesn't mean anything. You can still switch over here. Again, turn off resample because you don't want to recalculate it. You don't want to change the size of it. You just want to set a new scale for the DPI. So set it to 300. Click on resize. The picture is staying exactly the same because we are not resampling. But now you have the 300 DPI that you might need, for example, for printing something. And 
this might be a good idea because you don't want the print machine to print your picture too small or too big. Although usually if you print a picture, it is in a holder, like for example, a PDF file that has a size and this is scaled to the right size, no matter what the resolution is. But here with the DPI, you have an estimate, you have an idea on how big you can actually print that. So this would be the maximum size. You can always print it smaller, but you shouldn't really print it bigger because otherwise you're going to see pixels in there based on the pixel resolution, not on the DPI. Again, just to make that clear, it doesn't have anything to do with the DPI, only with the pixel resolution. That's the whole conspiracy. <laughs> now you know it. So please always look for the pixel resolution and ignore the DPI. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow in my live stream. And well, maybe subscribe, maybe hit the bell button, maybe leave a comment, do all these crazy things. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.